balita ngayon. There will be no ceasefire ever again under my ter um, under my term ko pagka presidente. For all intents and purposes, yung ceasefire is dead. Wala na yun. Matagal na yun. Nung umalis ako sa when I walk away from the talks because we cannot understand each other, maybe we were talking on different uh, dialects. I don't know why. But I just simply cannot understand the way it was being carried by the other side. By being played. What was... Uh, Evolving before me was something which is not acceptable to the Republic of the Philippines. Lalo na yung coalition government. You are no president, no stupid president will allow it. He will get impeached. He will get impeached by you are not supposed to share that power. Ako may sinumpaan ako. And those powers under, given to me under the law are only to be exercised unless they are uh, capable of being delegated. I cannot compromise anything in this government. It's either I will be impeached or the military and the police will shoot me. Mamili lang ako sa dalawa dyan. Ipapasubo mo ang Republic of the Philippines. Papatay ka talaga. Because you are a traitor of your country. And if I give you a power to share in the, uh, a power sharing, that's a very, very serious thing. You can get assassinated for it. Hindi na maghintay because sinisira mo yung Republika ng Pilipinas. Simple as that. So for, for all intents and purposes, I, I would say the ceasefire is dead, and there is no this uh, no, the, the peace talks between the uh, NDF, NPA, but the yung oh, natin yung legal front nila, NPA, NDF. Patayin kayong lahat. I am identifying you because I have seen the records. You are really communists. Uh, taken all in all in all its uh, uh, narratives, uh, whatever the Jasik and the law, you are out to share power. So, I have to destroy you. Na kayong lahat dyan, you are a communist. Na sa communist, sayo mo nyo, you cannot be accused now of being just a mere communist member because the anti-subversion law has been abrogated. Well, you are, you got it all wrong. Because the Communist Party is still fighting against the government. Hindi nga wala na ang subversion law, but you are committing murder, arson, lahat na, and rape. These are serious offenses under the revised penal code. All communists are bad because all of you are conspiring to overthrow the government of the Republic of the Philippines. And nobody would allow you. Not the military, not the police, and not the majority of all Filipinos. Ilan lang kayo, most of them now are nomads, exploited oppressed by the new people's army. Tinatakot lang ninyo. Pinapatay. When did this happen? 
Kayong mga lumad. Kano saan ang nagsugod? Kailan ito nag-umpisa? Kano saan nagsugod? Before the NPS came, may gulo ba? Naabay samok sa inyong lugar? May gulo? It was when the NPS started its uh, pacification sa taas. Tapos, ang una political officer, sige, lecture. Yan. Pagpasok ng, poli pol pasok ng politi uh, political officers, pasok na ang mga lecturers yun. Naniwala naman kayo. Maniwala kayo. Kayong mga lumad ng kapatid ko. Maniwala kayo sa komunista. Maniwala kayo na kaya nila mag tayo ng gobyerno. Jesus Maria Josep. Puro walang ginawa yan kung hindi maghingi ng taxes inyo at magpatay ng ayong sumama sa kanila. Yan ang problema. Kayo'y nakikinig sa Tuklasin Natin. Patuloy po kayo makinig sa palatuntunan ng Tuklasin Natin kasama si Cathy Cruz. Ako po si Aileen Abilardo, Duty Hydrologist ng DOST Pag-asa. Dahil dito sa Tuklasin, tutuklasin ang dapat malaman ng sambayanan.